I first met Anthony when he came to my class in first grade. And his father told me that Anthony was very shy and he didn't speak. The only people he interacted with, his mother, myself, again, his, and his siblings. Both my wife and I, we questioned it quite a bit. Why is he afraid? Why is he shy? Is it something we did? Is it something that happened prior to? We just didn't know why he refused to speak. As Anthony was getting to the third grade, uh, we were looking for things for him to do. We learned about the SCORES after school program at E.R. Taylor School. The school uh, mentioned to us that there was a soccer poetry program that uh, Anthony might be interested in. At America Scores Bay Area, we provide soccer and literacy enrichment for K through eighth grade. But it's more than just that. It's a comprehensive program that, that works with kids Monday through Friday and then Saturday where the teams all come together for games with other schools. But the, the most important thing is every team has two coaches. So when you sign up for a scores team, you get a soccer coach and you get a writing coach. But when we first meet with the teams, you know, I was telling, look, we're not athletes, we're poet athletes. You know, poetry, you know, we take that side also very serious because, you know, it's, it's a way of us expressing ourselves, you know. If you watch a soccer game, they're really dramatic and exciting, and there's highs and there's lows, and it's just like they're, they're poetry. It's the same kind of thing, so I think they, they work well together. Almost immediately after joining the program, he's been opening up, and he's, I, I would almost say now he's completely open. Uh, you can ask him questions and he will answer you, even if he just met you today. So my name is Anthony Spears. I'm 13 years old and I go to MIT Academy. But when I was like a little kid, I wouldn't be as strong as I am now today. I was really scared of talking to people. It was hard to talk to strangers the most because, well, because you don't know them. Like, how are you supposed to talk to people you don't know? Over time, I did notice that Anthony started to stand out a little bit more, not just in terms of him um, speaking more, being more involved in the poetry, but just on the field. I mean, I feel like he was really able to work a lot of stuff out, out there and really build up his confidence. Being part of the team is probably what made him turn the corner. Because soccer, I would have a lot of teammates, and they'd be really, really nice to me, and they're, they're my friends, you know, so I could talk. To them. When I found out that Anthony was one of the finalists uh, for the trip to New York, um, it was probably one of the most proud moments in my entire life. My name is Angel and I'm from Hillcrest School. Anthony was one of up to 70 kids who auditioned for the National Poetry Slam and he was chosen based on his, on his creativity and his ability to put together an amazing poem that just kind of gotcha. I like poetry because it helps me release all my actual emotions and it feels great to just put it on paper and like read it out to the world. There are about 26 students from across the country who all come together and in the audience there are about 300 people. For anybody, it's scary to speak in front of people. All right, from San Francisco, Anthony Spears Jr. Well, the moment Anthony got on stage uh, to read his poetry in New York, maybe I was a little bit uh, nervous. I wasn't sure he would go through with it. And then when he went to speak, uh, it came out. Big kids reach the bars, later they reach for the stars. Teens play in courts so they can get better at their sport. Adults sit down and talk when they should probably take a walk. Yeah, you heard me. Adults sit down and talk when they should probably take a walk. Like after you pretty much read a poem to the public, it, it feels, it just feels great. Just seeing the progress that Anthony has made from, you know, the time I met him to where he is now really does give me <laughs> you know, hope for, you know, many other students as well. And what we want to do with kids like Anthony 
and thousands more is embrace them and say to them, what you have to say is important, that we care. Well, the biggest thing I learned through scores is being able to talk, pretty much, because I wouldn't talk to anybody, like I said before, and now I can, because it's, it feels great to talk to other people. He's just what you call a good kid. Uh, he's not in trouble. He's a kid who made the honor roll every year that it's been available to him. Uh, he's an athlete. Uh, he takes care of our family. I'm the proudest dad in the world. <laughs>